Hey guys, it's Ice, and I'm bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary. I haven't done one of these in a while because I've been away. And I have uploaded a couple videos while I was away, but they weren't StarCraft 2 related. So this is going to be my first StarCraft 2 game I have casted in a while. So, as the Red Terran we have EG Puma, and as the Blue Protoss we do have OGS MC. So both pretty good players, I've seen them uh, both play before, so I know this for a fact. Um, EG standing for evil geniuses, so uh, they're not very anonymous players, uh, they are known, uh, pretty well players, as I've said before, and I have not watched this match before, like I said, I, I don't usually, well I don't ever watch the games before I cast them because I think it's kind of boring for me and for whoever watches the game. And uh, also, something different about this video is... Um, I noticed for all of my StarCraft 2 videos I've casted in the past, I've been using um, not low settings but medium graphic settings um, because I play on that just so I don't get any lag in any uh, large battles or anything like that. So I've someone gave me suggestions, someone uh, messaged me uh, on YouTube and told me that I should up the graphic settings. So I did that, and it's not that my computer can't handle it, it's just I uh, prefer that there's no lag in big battles where it uh, causes me to miss an opportunity or anything like that. So the video should look a bit better, uh, a bit better quality. So uh, hopefully you're gonna notice the difference if you were to compare it, so uh, yeah. And now back to the game, we can see that the Terran has gone for a relatively early gas here. The Protoss uh, going for a gas as well, however Protoss usually going for gas um, earlier than the other races just a little bit definitely a um, bit more than zerg um, of, of course it depends on your playstyle but when you see such an early refinery you've got to be thinking there's a possibility of a banshee harass or if you're a zerg definitely got to be thinking about a hellion harass because those can devastate the mineral line and uh, the Protoss player is still keeping his probe in here, just wants to see what building is going to go down next. Possibly going to be going for a Destiny Cloudfist build. Um, maybe going for the Banshee Harass like I said before. And the probe just moving around in here, he wants to find out what is going to happen. Meanwhile an SCV scout is making his way down to the Protoss base of OGS MC. Pretty standard opening by both players so far with the uh, Cybernetics core following right after the first gateway. And however, using the Chrono Boost on the gateway and not the Cybernetics core. So, looks like the Protoss may be going for an early expansion uh, or a very early push. Although, if he was doing that, he should have gotten more gateways before the Cybernetics core and used some Chrono Boost on that. Um, and the factory just going up here for the Terran player. And I think the probe, I think, was destroyed before that went up. Let me just uh, make sure. Yeah, the Protoss player didn't actually see that factory go down. So, uh, nice play by the Terran there, just eliminating the probe and then throwing down that factory. There is a bunker at the front here to stop any early harass with a reactor coming up here. So, we're not going to be wasting any of the gas on the barracks. And the one Zealot just going to get pounded back off the ramp. Stalker not going to be able to uh, target that supply depot. And there is a starport coming up, so he's probably going to switch the starport to move on to that tech lab pretty soon. And uh, like I said before, we may be seeing that Banshee Harass. Yeah, it looks like we'll definitely be seeing uh, Banshee Harass. Um, player may not overcommit to that though. Uh, Terran I find especially difficult uh, to use the Banshee Harass against just because their f first unit is the Marine. Uh, pretty useful against Zerg, I, I would say the most useful to use that on is definitely Zerg. And here is a, a very early Nexus, it was a one gate into Nexus by the Protoss player. And then of course throwing down uh, two more gateways and a robotics facility. So. He's going to want to get this saturated as fast as possible and then, with that additional income, try and push out. So, the only problem for the Protoss now is holding off if the Terran decides to send out a, a wave of units. And if he can hold off, he should be in pretty good shape to defend for the rest of the game. Um, although, it's, it's a pretty risky build if the opponent is going for a very early attack, which the Terran is not going for a very early attack, but the Banshee Harass uh, could do something uh, pretty devastating. So we'll see how he's able to use that Banshee Harass, if it's going to be pushed away effectively by the Protoss, and if the Nexus will fall pretty early in the game before he's able to use it properly. 
So, um, this is kind of the calm before the storm, probably. Uh, I'm just looking for the red dot on the map where the banshee was. I, I'm pretty sure one was made already, or a raven actually. Did he just cancel that? Um, I think he may have just cancelled the banshee and started building a raven instead. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure... Oh, there the banshee is. Sorry about that. Uh, I did not see that moving just on the dark there on the side of the map. So, again, we'll see what the Terran is going to do. Um, one probe just moving up here. Just making sure if the Terran is expanding or not while an observer is moving across the map. Um, cloak has finished. And there is an observer over here, so the Banshee Harass is going to be repelled at least for the moment. should probably take that cloak off. don't want to waste the energy before you have to go in or make an escape. Uh, meanwhile, up here, just more Marines being made, as well as some tanks. So, probably going to be seeing some siege mode pretty soon if he's going to commit to those tanks. And the uh, bunker is salvaged. Meanwhile, Banshee just moving in here needs to put on that cloak to get away. Do not want to waste those Banshees. They're pretty costly. It uh, looks like he is going to just barely make it out there. Um, almost got finished by those Stalkers. Probe up here still just seeing if the Terran is going to expand or not. So the Poros player probably expecting a push coming any time now. Uh, siege mode is on the way. It should be finished or almost finished by the time he's ready to attack the Protoss base. Uh, meanwhile, not much besides marines being produced, and a lot of marines. Should probably get some uh, extensions over here, like the reactor, or if you want some marauders. Marauders pretty good against Protoss units, uh, Protoss gateway units. One banshee in here, probably going to be using some cloak with that. Maybe he will go for the mineral line when he attacks with the main force, or maybe he'll just keep it there with the army. And siege mode almost finished. So the Terran player I think is going to have the advantage in this fight because the Protoss went for a very early Nexus and the benefits uh, haven't paid off exactly yet. The Protoss army not looking too shabby but just a bit smaller here and it looks like the Terran has brought a lot of SCVs down here. Uh, probably going to be repairing and maybe doing some damage with them as well. The Stalkers do not want that bunker to go down. That could be pretty terrible. It looks like the Nexus is going to get finished so... The Protoss in a lot of trouble. He's gonna want to throw down another Nexus probably if he can repel this. However, he is oversupply. Um, his forces are going down. There are a lot of Marines over here. He was focusing down the tanks, but there's one in the back just being very annoying. And a lot of Marines here. The Protoss player just trying to crank out reinforcements, but not really having the resources to do that. One sentry is coming out. Those could be very useful if he's going to sit back and just force field off the ramp. But another bunker coming down. And some force field placement over here separating some of the marines. But this uh, tank is just doing so much damage and the Protoss player is not being able to attack it. So the Protoss player not in a very good position. Not much on his production tab at all. Meanwhile for the Terran player we've seen uh, a steady trickle of, of units down here. Mostly marines. And uh, the bunker looks like it's going to get finished there. Marines going to want to climb in there pretty soon. The bunker is going to go down. Uh, the tank was just destroyed and these last Marines should get cleaned up just barely here. If um, the Poros is able to micro correctly. Uh, the Raven not getting picked off. This uh, point defense drone getting destroyed. And the Poros repelling the Terran player there. But at what cost? The Nexus did go down. And... Even if the Protoss had fully engaged the Terran after that, the Nexus would probably still have gone down. He was just waiting for another wave of reinforcements there. And we can see the Protoss player is at 70, 71 supply to the Terran's 46. So, uh, the Terran player does have the advantage over here in the base though. The Protoss is not going to want to attack right now just because of the nice choke over here as well as the siege tank. And another Banshee coming out as well. So maybe going for uh, some kind of mineral line damage or maybe just leaving that in with the general army which uh, I don't think is a very good idea because banshees are very costly and you don't want to lose them easily. It's a lot harder to have to micro them in the middle of a battle um, when you can just have your main army and then do something else with them behind enemy lines. So one SCV over here, uh, pylon is over here so the Protoss is going to know if uh, any expansion is put up there or any funny business. 
Meanwhile, the uh, Proros player just assembling some army units over here. Probably going to want to go for a push um, just as this Nexus is stabilizing. Um, pretty common thing to do is when you get your base up, you expand. And one Cloak Banshee just going to be moving in here. Possibly going to be doing some damage. Uh, I think there was an Observer around here though, so... Stalkers are coming in to follow it. There is an Observer over here, so the Banshee um, will, could escape actually. He needs to run away though, the Cloak is about to run out as well. And the Banshee just getting killed, he almost made that out. And uh, Protoss player, not looking too bad actually. He doesn't have the biggest army, but his Nexus is back up. The Terran does not have does not have any command center being formed, so he he's gonna run out of steam if his if this next attack doesn't really do much. And he does have a a pretty sizable army compared to the Protoss here. Protoss not gonna go down easily, but uh, not gonna win easily either. This one observer gonna help though if there are any bounties in the mix. And the probe just gonna see the Terran ar army is massed over here. Uh, probe just getting annihilated and a lot of SCVs, about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 SCVs. So those are going to want to be repairing tanks, uh, possibly scouting a little bit, and maybe doing some damage as well if they need to. The Protoss player though um, should be in some good shape as long as the tanks are not allowed to do so much damage, which I think they will. And uh, this a very difficult base to defend uh, on this map, so... Here is the engagement. I don't see any stim. I don't actually think that was research, which could be a mistake for the Terran player, but he was using that early gas to go for Banshees, which are cloaked, but there should be... Yeah, there is an Observer over here, so the Banshees are um, going to be under some pressure, but there are no more Stalkers here. So Immortal's not going to do much against those two Banshees. They're not going to want to engage against the Marines right now until some Stalkers are um, out, and we can see Chrono boosting two of the warp gates here. This could be the end of the game for the Protoss player. And it looks like before the Protoss gets anything out, um, there will too, be too much tech damage or economic damage done for any significant retaliation. There are a fair amount of Stalkers here, but uh, I think the Protoss player may have just lost the game right now. That Cloak Banshee doing a lot of damage. I uh, want to focus down those Banshees. Otherwise, that Observer was kind of a waste. Pulling probes off the line a little bit too late. Should have done that before, as he just got that wave of reinforcements. Uh, Raven looks like it is going to go down. Nope, pulling away. For us, not looking good at all. I think this is the end of the game. Anything else now is just pretty much drawing it out. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say. This is really the end of the game. The Protoss, I don't see how he can come back from this. So, um, a I would say pretty good play by both people. The uh, one gate into Nexus was a very risky build, and it's um, not a very easy build to pull off either. Because once the other player hasn't gone for an extremely early expansion, they can pretty much punish you for it if you're not able to completely defend it. And especially on a map like this, the, exp the expansion is very open, so it's not an easy thing to defend against. And uh, yeah, I think this is GG now. Terran player just cleaning up. The Protoss in denial, I guess. Um, not GGing just yet, although we should see it any moment now. The Banshee just ripping up some probes. There's only one Stalker. Mm. Terran player just having fun here. And there's a GG from OGS MC. And like I said, pretty good game, I guess, from both players. A very risky build over here by the Protoss. The Nexus was destroyed once, and he was punished afterwards. So the Terran player not going for um, a risky build at all. The Banshee Harass didn't really work out, but the Banshees did uh, kind of pay off for themselves a bit later in the game. And that's going to be it for this cast. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more as much as possible, although I'm pretty busy. School is starting back for me tomorrow. So that's going to be it for this cast, guys. Uh, any comments or anything, you can write it down below or send me a message. Uh, thanks for watching.